Hello, everyone! Do you know what time it is? It's time for Cognition and Erica Re Thriller Episode 4 The Cane Killer. Oh, yes, I have been impatiently waiting for this game since, well, I finished the third episode. I played through episode 1, 2, and 3 after all three had already been released, so I just blew right through them, but. Unfortunately, episode 4 was not released when I finished episode 3, so I've just been impatiently waiting. And here it is. And I'm really, really, really excited. This is the fourth and final episode of the series. This will end the series. So, big stuff is gonna go down. Even bigger stuff than what happened previously. Which I will talk about briefly, by the way, since, um, since I have a terrible memory. I have a very terrible memory, and it's been months since I played episode 3. I, I didn't remember very much. Um, I attempted to look for uh, a succinct kind of summary of everything that happened in Episode 3, but I was unable to find it. So instead what I did is I went back and actually watched, uh, just kind of very, very briefly skimmed through um, my last episode of Episode 3. The last video I did of Episode 3, just to kind of remind myself of what happened at the end. And here's what I've picked up. Here's what I've... Uh, here's, some of the, here's some of the key events that happened. Okay, so Cordelia was forced to kill her brother by, I believe, the Cane Killer, I'm pretty sure. Which, it looks like the Cane Killer is Keith, which is her other brother, or was that her stepbrother? I can't remember, I don't know. But, yeah, Keith, aka the Cane Killer, is related to Cordelia. Either brother or brother-in-law or something like that. I, th I think he's just another brother, I'm not really sure. Anyway, yes, so the Cane Killer, which appears to be Keith, forced her to kill... Her other brother. Um, let's see what else. Okay, uh, Keith was taken out. Uh, we found Keith in the basement of the hotel place or wherever the hell that took place. I think that was in like the basement of the hotel. And they found Keith. We found Keith like in the corner, sort of chained up and held hostage and covered in bandages and covered in what looks like burns. Keep in mind, I burned. Uh, Erica Reed burned the cane killer at the beginning of episode one. So yeah, he was damaged, uh, hurt, burned, covered in bandages, and it looks like he was kept hostage by we don't know who exactly, or at least I don't know who. And um, at the time we didn't know that he was the cane killer, so John just took him away to get medical attention, I presume. So he was taken out. So now the cane killer is free at the moment. I can't remember what happened to Cordelia. I really don't remember. I don't know if she escaped or what. Um, but anyway, the very last scene, basically, is when Erica Reed came upon the scene where she had kept envisioning her death, where she would turn around and get shot in the head. She came upon that scene, but since she'd seen the vision so many times, she knew it was happening. So she reacted before it happened, turned around and shot the person before what she assumed would happen, which is they would shoot her. However, it turns out the person she shot was John, her partner. So, yes, that is the major events. Keith is appears to be the cane killer. Keith escaped. And Erica Reed shot John. There's some other important stuff, like Cordelia Smith. I, again, I don't remember what happened to her. I didn't see that in the video when I just briefly skimmed over it, so I'm not sure. Hopefully there's going to be a recap. But yeah, that's that's a little bit to kind of get your brain started. I certainly needed to get my brain started on, or restarted, and refreshed on what happened. Okay, so let's dive right in. Cognition and Erica Reed Thriller, Episode 4, The Cane Killer. New case. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Previously on Cognition. Okay, sweet, I need this. I'm sorry, Erica. You're gonna hate me for saying this. But I think I could have stopped Scott's death. Wait, what? And you kept this from me? Excuse me. You took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Don't sweat it. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Finally, you get your ass down here. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. You are what some people call a scion. If you can see the past, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? 
How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? Sully! Ah, it's Sully! What the hell is going on? Who's doing this? And how do they know about me? I knew you'd make it here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Years. You're about to find out how alike we really are. Please, Erica. Don't disappoint me. I'm here to inform you that Ms. Smith wants you to make yourself at home here. But of course, you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it. She saw me. I can't see you anymore, but I know you're there. This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therian. Who's that? I passed out because I saw it. It was you getting killed, Max. Your brother there is going to be talking to a judge if he can't explain the situation. I feel like I'm failing. Jeff has all the money. You make sure of that. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Jeff Therian. He's Karobius' son. This is the guy that murdered Scott? Max! Only one of us can leave this place alive. Do not rest until he's put behind bars. I'm sorry, Erica. Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, I did. If we're going to do this, then there are some things that we need to go over first. Sorry. It's all because of me. Because I couldn't. This will end the way it began with fire, blood, and tears. Three years ago, the night Scott died. This place is lively. I've seen worse, but none as dangerous as this one will be. I'm looking forward to meeting this bastard. If he leads us to Cain. Don't count your chickens yet, Skippy. How have you kept doing this for so long? It's the only thing that still makes sense since Alice left me. Come on, you're not the new kid anymore. You know how it is. Yeah, but the things we see. Listen, Red, I know how you feel. We were all there once. This was one of your first cases, and it's been dragging for three years. But we're gonna catch this son of a bitch. So think about this. It's not about what we see, but about what we could stop others from seeing. And that makes it all a little better. You're right. That's our job. You're right. That's our job. Don't let it go to your head, huh? Reed, are we all set? Awaiting orders, sir. I appreciate the risk you're taking. Stelios and Jetta are both inside now and expecting you, Agent. I've dealt with this guy before. You have to be extremely careful. The minute he sees you flinch, he'll put a bullet through our informant and another one through you. This guy has sold equipment to Kane to build his traps and you have one chance to get an address. Can we go over things one more time? We're short on time. You get three questions. Make them count. <laughs> oh god, I have to actually ask the questions. Okay. Well, uh, well, obviously I don't know who that is, so let's ask that first. Who's Jetta? Who's Jetta? We already discussed her. She's Stelios' girlfriend, a prostitute junkie who's been our eyes in these circles for a while. The only thing you need to know is that our target trusts her, and that she'll be giving you important information. Okay. Uh, what's Jetta's code to pass me information? What's Jetta's code to pass me information? She'll blink once for yes, and twice for no. 
Be careful. If you overdo it, Stelios will get suspicious. We have only time for one more question, Agent Reed. Okay, blink once for yes. I just wrote that down just in case I actually have to remember it. Um, more like the information about Kanor. What's my cover? What's my cover? Let's go over my cover again. Agents Arthur Rosenberg and Jeremy Snowden reported that an illegal Russian Mafia gun shipment is being dropped today. You're here to check that everything was delivered before pickup. You're the stateside contact hired and very trusted by their leader, who goes by Jack Stryker. Obviously not his actual name. Not your job. Focus on the operation at hand. We don't have any more time, Reed. You have to go in. Agent McCoy, remember, no interference. You're only there in case things go south. I don't like it one bit. Agent Reed, I will be guiding you as best I can, but Jetta will be giving you information through the code we agreed to. Stelios is paranoid. He'll try to trick you, so be on your guard. And no weapons. He'll sniff you out and kill you before you have a chance to think of using it. Your goal is to get the information about Kane and leave as soon as you can. Understood? Yes, sir. And Reed, do me a favor and keep an eye on Jetta. I told her nothing bad would happen to her. Tutorial. Erica will soon enter a dangerous confrontation where her choices affect how other characters trust her. Yep, I got that impression. And I have a terrible memory. I wrote down some things. Blink once equals yes. Blink two equal, uh, blink twice equals no. Jack Stryker is my some something contact or I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. This could go south pretty quick. Let's see, what was my cover? I'm a pizza delivery person, right? Yeah, that's it. From Domino's. A meter shaped like a character's face will display in the bottom corner as you make certain choices. The meter will increase or decrease depending on your choices. The more the meter lights up, the more the character's likes and uh, likes and trusts Erica. Okay, makes sense. McAdams just requested Erica to keep Jetta safe. Your response affects the relationship Erica has with him. I'll do my best. I can't make any promises. That is such a, like, a, I don't know, a sort of cynical, defeatist kind of attitude. I'll do my best. Yeah, that's better. I'll do my best. Thank you. Tutorial by affirming that Erica will prioritize Jetta's safety. You strengthened Erica's relationship with McAdams. Okay, this is an interesting new mechanic that was not present in the previous games. Your decisions often affect how characters react to Erica. Sometimes, in tense situations, your decisions can lead to fatal consequences. Okay. Assume positions. Be ready in five. Be careful, Agent Reed. Erica? I'll be careful. When you asked me earlier why I'm still doing this, before you came along, I could have turned a blind eye to the whole thing. It gets harder to swallow every year. But I'm here today because I had to train this damn rookie. <laughs> Seems that training you is the most natural thing about this job, kiddo. Go take care of that lowlife. Alright, let's get to work. Put my skills to the test. Got some nice groovy, tense, action-y thriller music. Nice. Reed, we've got our eyes and ears on you. Your business? We went over this one. Oh, God. <sighs> okay, well, all right. I mean, I might not remember specifics, but I know it's not Kane and it's not about human trafficking. I'm here about the gun shipment. You must be Stelios, right? I'm here about the gun shipment. Nice. Huh, the Russian doll. I thought you were blind. Yeah, well, I thought you were pretty, but it turns out you're ugly as fuck. What the hell is wrong with you? It looks like you're developing scales. Are you turning into a fish person? Seems like you belong in Innsmouth. Okay. Oh my god, I just realized I wasn't even paying attention to what he said. Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay. Stop. Stop. Stop focusing on his weirdness. Stop focusing on how to, uh, retort. Just focus on the job, okay? Okay. Change your story. Uh, no. No, and no. He's bluffing. Stick to your story. I don't know what you're talking about. They sent me. Now, are we getting down to business, or are you gonna keep wasting my time? Not so fast, pretty face. What's the shipment number? Shit, Reed, we don't have that. Mm. My client is gonna be really fucking unhappy when I tell him what went down here. You heard me. Shipment number. 
Ooh, I have to admit, I like it when Erica curses. It's actually strangely sexy. Is that weird? That might be weird. I don't know. Let's continue and forget I said that. Um... <laughs> okay, well, obviously I don't know it, so answering any of these is completely pointless, so let's look around and maybe I'll have a chance to use my cognition power, because I can't use it right now. Remember, Jetta can signal you with eye movements. Be discreet, but look in her direction if you need help with any of Stelios' questions. Okay, can she blink out Morse code and tell me the shipment number? Um, I think I can use... Yeah, I can use this now. Okay. That's not the best idea right now. Okay, um, let's... Whoops. Let's look in her direction. Oh. Uh, what? She... She blinked once and then blinked again. I don't know if those were two separate yeses or two means no. I don't... What? Okay, well, I can look at crates, um... Hmm... That's not the best idea right now. Do I need to, like, look at a crate and then get her to say yes or no as to whether that's the one? Um, how do I close this? Oh, exit. <laughs> Duh. Okay, well, there's one crate. One up there, one here. And one here. So there are three. Okay, uh, does Jetta know where I'm looking? I, I can't tell. Uh, let's look up. Alright. I can't, I can't uh, get her attention while I'm looking at this, so I have to exit first. Once. Twice. Uh, I'm losing his trust. Shit, this isn't good. Is this doing anything at all? Am I signaling that I'm looking at something? Let's try one more time. Once. Twice. She keeps signaling the same thing. I don't get it. She's saying no. No what? I can't do it again. You heard me. Shipment number. Alright, fuck it. Um. Okay, well, I have a 1 in 3 chance. If I randomly choose those without looking at what numbers I actually have here, I have a, a very bad chance. But if I look at these and just pick a random one, I have a 1 in 3 chance. So, let's go with this. 100, 344. You heard me. 100, 344. over there. <laughs> oh, wow. Jay send you I apparently got it right. Goes by Jay. But he might be tricking you. He has a lot of people running his stuff, and he's particularly known for letting one of his thugs give the orders. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's get her, uh... Yeah, let's look at her. Once. Once, yes. <laughs> Did Jay send you? Mm-hmm. Jay sent me, yeah. Jay sent me, yeah. Then you wouldn't mind if I gave him a call. Right, Jetta? Nah, I don't think she'd mind. That could get you in deep shit, Erica. On the other hand, it could distract him. Hmm. Hmm, oh, wow, this is hard. <laughs> Doesn't want you wasting his time. Could definitely be true, could be very believable, but also can sound a bit suspicious. Sure, call him, could give me in shit and deep shit. On the other hand, it the fact that I'm so confident might mean that he doesn't even waste his time. Sure, call him. Sure, call him. Shit, is he actually doing it? Oh no. Hey Jay, I got your girl here. <laughs> yeah, pretty hot ass. <laughs> hey, hot face. He wants to know what's your name. Her name is Vanessa Madsen, but when she deals for him, she goes by Ariel. It's going to be one of those two. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say Erica Reed. Oh my god. That would be incredibly dumb. Um one of the two, huh? 
Ariel. Ariel. Yeah, that's it. We're good, Jay. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Nice. Nice. Going well so far. Alright, what do you want? <laughs> I'm not here about Kane. Oh my god. I'm here to check the inventory on the shipment. I'm here to check the inventory on the shipment. Want to make sure everything's in order and that we don't waste my client's time. All right, one final question for you. Here's one for you I tell all my clients. You should know this one. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? Reed, there's nothing here about that one. Cognition, right? This has got to be a job for cognition. Hmm. Well, obviously I can't answer right now. Would she know? Well, actually, yes or no wouldn't even answer the question. Because it's not a binary question. All right. Really? It's not the best idea right now. <sighs> um. Wait, can I try and go for the gun? Uh, no. <laughs> go for his gun? I guess it. Hey, cat, get your tongue. Cause otherwise, <laughs> this cat could do a few things with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I should go for the gun. <laughs> that bit of dialogue went on for far too long at the end. Mm, yeah, mm, oh. Ugh. I don't think looking at her would do anything. She can't, yeah. It's not binary, all right. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? <laughs> Neither, you keep it up your ass. I mean, center drawer. Neither, it's the center drawer. Boom! Yeah, she's got the smarts. Here, doll, look all you want. Okay, uh, what am I looking for? Okay, do I recognize any of these names? Hmm, hmm, Miss Lilo, Frent, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what am I doing? Any cognition? Done yet? One minute. Take your time. Hold on, just let me use my superpowers. I'm trying to remember how this works. Alright, you just click it and then you press this again, right? Yes. Okay. About time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stink. I need you to ship it somewhere. I'll pay for it all. I'll pay extra. I don't usually do that shit. But you have a mean wallet. Fine. Tell me where. One, two, four, six. You know what's so great about looking at your tits? What? That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch. Wait, what? Okay, this just went south really fast. Focus on um, Stelios, try to get his gun. Eh. Focus on Jetta, draw attention to Erica and tell Jetta to run. I am supposed to protect her. Focus on yourself, run and hide. Okay, I'm supposed to protect her, come on. Um... Well, I'm not going to focus on myself, obviously. Focus on him and try to get his gun. Uh, I think he's closer to it than me. That's pretty unlikely to work. Okay, draw attention to Erica and tell Jetta to run. Jetta, run! Oh, shit! That was the wrong play. <laughs> oh, my God. That was very much the wrong play. I tried to save her and I got everyone killed. That wasn't my best decision. <laughs> killed in action. <sighs> Her name was Erica Reed. She was born on this day, and she had red hair. We will always remember her red hair, and her birth date, and her name. But nobody will remember her FBI number, because it's far too long, and who can remember such a long number? Retry. You can actually return to the guard to ask McAdams more questions. Uh, no. Continue inside the warehouse. I'm here to check the inventory on the shipment. Alright, one final question for you. Reed, there's nothing here. Alright, center drawer again? Neither. Yeah, she's got Wow, skipping through um the dialogue causes it to speed up really fast and look weird for just a split second. That's strange. Okay. Um, is there anything I can do other than cognition, or does he always find me? I'm guessing he always uh, always sees the wire. 
can't read it. It's all gibberish. Okay, yeah. Done yet? One minute. Take your time. Well, about time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stick. And I don't usually do... One, two... You know what's so great about looking at your tits? What? That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch. Okay, well... He is very close to the gun, and he can shoot me very fast, so running and hiding is... I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think I can run anywhere before he can shoot me, so I'm gonna focus on Stelios and try to get this, try to get his gun. Jenna, run! Okay, that worked. I got you, you bitch. John, it's now or never. Nobody lies to Stelios. I got you, Reed. Reed? What? You son of a bitch, what? I saw the news. You did those last two pretty bad. My next pair is going to be even better. Who are they? Erica and Scott Reed. I'm taking the boy tonight. So that's what happened before. Before the beginning of the first episode. Did you find my dad? He's unconscious, but he'll live. I called 911. Stay with him. I have to go. Like hell you are. I'm going with you. He said to come alone. I'm not letting you go there on your own. End of story. And call for backup. Our path was chosen long before now. Now we're just walking it until we get to the final door and the end begins. The Smith Family Lake House, the morning after Scott's death. I haven't been to the Family Lake House in ages, but I knew Keith would be here. I couldn't do anything to stop him from killing Erica's brother, but I can make sure he doesn't kill again. I just hope I can do this. And if I can't stop him on my own, well, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Wait a minute, wait, 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 she's going to stop Keith from doing what he does on her own? Maybe I forgot some important plot point, but why doesn't she just, like, call the police and say, Hey, my brother is a serial killer. Please stop him. Here's his address. <laughs> I don't know. Seems kind of strange, uh, but anyway. Um, hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Keith's car. Keith's. He must be in pretty bad shape now. Oh, right, right. This is the day after Scott's death. Which means, um, and he's been burned, so he's going to be, yeah, he's, he's going to be in horrible, writhing pain. Given how much he was burned, oh my god. Yeah. It's locked. I need the keys. Okay. Well, this game keeps up its legacy of super awkward animations. It's okay, though. It's not a big deal. Um, since this is an adventure game, I'm guessing I have to pick up the broom for no particular reason. A small broom. Let's do it. Might have to break open a window, given these deliciously large windows I see. It might help with something. Indeed it might. It could be used to bash open a window, or perhaps just sweep the porch. Oh my god, look at her turn. That looks so awkward, look at that. Just spinning in place, as if she's on like a spinny thing. 
I don't know, a turntable? Hmm. Alright, well obviously let's try the front door, although I'm sure it's gonna be locked. There's no way Keith left that open. Yeah. Nope. It's locked. Alright, um... Alright, so that's the only thing I have in my inventory, just the broom. Let me re-familiarize myself with this stuff here. What is this? Okay, that's how much he trusts me, which is half. Oh, right. You can see everything you can interact with. That's right. That's... Wow, I get an achievement for opening up my journal. Okay. Um, yeah, by the way, this game is now on Steam. As of the release date of the fourth episode, the entire series is now on Steam, which is super cool. That's gonna get so much more attention and so much more sales being on Steam. It's a really good opportunity for uh, uh, Phoenix Online Studios. Very cool for them. I really hope that they get some very good success. Get financially secure if they weren't before, which I'm guessing they probably weren't. I mean, it's really hard to be to make enough money to be financially secure as an indie game developer if you're not on Steam. I mean, there are some exceptions, obviously, like Minecraft, but in general, if you're not on Steam, you're probably not going to be making that much money. So yeah, hopefully this is a good opportunity for them to make some more money, get some more popularity, get some more exposure on their games, and hopefully make bigger and even better things. And that is the menu. What are my powers as her? She can... I forgot what she can do. Look to the future? Look to the past? I can't remember which. Anyway. Uh, does she not want to step... There we go. Maybe I can open this. <laughs> Give it a shot. I doubt it, though. I'm guessing that's what the broom is for. Oh. Never mind. I don't have to break a window. Aw, I wanted to break into the house. What am I supposed to do with the broom now? Well, there is a mess. I guess I need to use it to clean up. Oh my god, there's blood everywhere. Oh god. Oh man. That would hurt so bad. Burn wounds. Second, third, whatever degree burns all over your back. Oh. Yeah. He's in there tending his wounds. He must be in pain. I'm surprised he isn't just screaming right now. Hold on, before we go talk to him, let's just, let's just take a look around. Oh, we can actually hold down space to see everything. Okay, cool. Old furniture. Mom liked it that way. Alright, so this is like a family cabin, right? Oh my god, look at that chandelier. That's beautiful. I can see keys in one of the pockets. Ooh. Let me see if I can get those in my pocket before I talk to him could be useful to be in control of his car. Gives me a quick getaway if something happens, I suppose. Hopefully he doesn't turn around and hear me. These old floor ah. get very creaky toward the center of the room. He can't know I'm here until I'm ready for him. Yeah, I'm not ready for him. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There's keys in there, but there's the car key right there. No, I have to go around for that. Okay, can I enter in from a different window? Hmm. That leads to the basement. Keith used to spend a lot of his time down there. I can't imagine what he was doing in the basement. Creating his own wonderful traps. Legos are pretty cool, but unfortunately they can also be used to teach people, um, serial killers, how to design really cool, disturbing traps. So yeah, in other words, I blame Legos for creating, um, the cane killer. Yep. It's all of that creativity. Ah. <sighs> well, I mean, I can't move, right? Oh, shit. That was dumb. 
<laughs> this game has so many insta fail states. Wow. I need to be extra <laughs> Her name was Erica. Re wait, wait, no, no. Her name, her name was Cordelia Smith. Okay, yeah, I kind of assumed the game would just stop me from doing so something so stupid, but apparently the game does not have many safeguards in it. Something um, you want to keep in mind. Mm, let's go through a different window. If I can, they're probably all locked. Yep. No good. All right, I can break it, obviously, but that would be extremely loud and defeat the entire purpose. So. I think I already know what to do, actually. Use the broom handle to get his hoodie, to get the keys, to open the front door, get in through the front door so that I don't have to go across the creaky floorboards. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I played enough adventure games to know... To know what to do, I think. I hope. We'll see. Actually, wait, can I do cognition in anything? Mmm, can I use just one point, or do I need multiple ones for this? How does this work? Oh, okay. So, there's one way to do this. Wait, what? I don't understand what I just saw. Uh, can you do that again, please? I need to make him trip? W why? Okay, I don't get it, but whatever. This is already kind of venturing into the absurd adventure game puzzle territory. Oh, that was close. I mean, I just use a broom handle to pick up a hoodie so that I don't step across the floorboards to... get attention from my serial killer burnt brother. I... Anyway, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. Just... Ugh, that looks disgusting. It's Keith's hoodie. There's something in it. Aha, the keys to the house. Okay, yes, that's what I thought. Use the broom handle to get that, use the keys to the front of the house, get in through the front of the house, now you don't have to step across the floorboards, get the car key, see what's in the car, and etc, etc. Whoops, that's not gonna work. Try all you want, Cordelia. It's not going to open. It's locked. Okay. All right, actually, can I save? I can. All right, let's go ahead and do that. The chance of failure is, um, high. That, no, I didn't mean to click on the exit. Work table, work table, work table. Some thin wire. This might do the trick. All right, I can use that to trip him. Not sure how I'm going to get it across here without stepping on the floorboards, though. That's going to be interesting. All right, can I grab the car key? Can I use the broom to get it closer? Oh, I don't even have the broom anymore. Never mind. At least he won't be able to get away. Okay, that gives me an escape and takes away his escape. At least until he manages to pry it from my fingers after he kills me. That is. Max loved sitting by the fire for hours. Mom, too. It makes me wish I could see the past like Erica does. Okay, yeah, so in general, Erica sees the past, and Cordelia sees the future, right? Yeah. But Erica was seeing a bit of the future because she kept seeing her own death. But that might have been because Cordelia was... Uh, sending her psychic mind messages, maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Someone might know, but I don't. A heavy, sturdy table. 
All right, well, let's attach the wire to this. Actually, mm, I should check the car, see if there's anything, anything in the trunk. But I might as well attach it for now. Won't do any harm, right? Okay, that'll hold. Oh, he... what? He hears a squeaky floorboard, but he doesn't hear me throwing the wire across the wooden floor two feet behind him. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Alright, anything in here? A weapon, maybe? What is that? Powder. Garbage, garbage, powder, and... Wait, this toolbox is garbage? He was always messy, but now he's a pig. Nothing under here. Ah! My visions showed this ending badly. Wait, like this is gonna end badly if I take the gun? Nothing under here. Wait, what? I... what? No, open it back up. Hey, what's this? Good question. Can I use cognition powers? What is that? It's like a white powder. Hey, what's this? Hey, what is that? Little compartment. Hey, what's this? Oh god, okay. Three times is too much. <laughs> Just open it. There. Oh, look at this. It must be that drug he uses to knock his victims out. Hmm. I'll take a pack. Or two. Or maybe three. <laughs> take as many as you can fit, Cordelia. Alright, what can I use that for? I guess I could use it as like a pain remedy or... Just knock him out if he's going to be in pain? I don't know, that's kind of after the... I, I need to subdue him first. Keith's gun. My visions showed this end. Alright, let's take it. Max, I know you'll hate me for all the things I'm going to do, but... I won't let anyone else suffer like we did. Alright, actually, I need to go in through the other window, yes, to secure that. Secure the wire to the cabinet. It's a shame this game doesn't give you the ability to skip to an action, like if you double-click something, maybe. Like, you'll just teleport to the front of it or something. Some adventure games do have that. They have kind of skip features, or... Like, if you double-click on something, you teleport there, or the action just automatically happens. That sort of thing. And it's a nice little touch. Okay, uh... Can I... Gra... Uh... Hmm. One side of the wire is attached to the desk. I don't have the wire... Oh, I do still have the wire in my inventory. Okay, that's weird. Is it my inventory even though it's actually not in my inventory? It's on the ground. Awkward. Okay, that'll hold. Alright, do I need to throw, like, drug dust in his face? <laughs> a bag of drugs. These would knock someone out in no time. Alright, let me get a vision again. One more time. I believe I was holding a gun, and he came walking out and tripped, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yep. So, there's one way to do this. I like how she's standing in front of him when you do that. That's really weird. Alright, let's save. And let's get to it. Um, how do I get his attention? I could just walk. But let me use my gun instead. Come on out, Keith. Keith, come out of there now. Cool. Cordelia? 
Surprised? I figured that since I was locked up and you didn't come to visit me, I'd come to visit you. I wanted to, Cordy. I just didn't know what I would say. What you did was... Stupid. I should never have taken the blame for what you did. I felt so broken. I thought I'd protect you. And I wanted to understand. <laughs> Why? Why, Keith? Because I need to. I can't fight it. I, I just need to. That's it? You destroy our lives. You force me to kill Max, and that's all you can say? I need to? I could usually suppress or ignore it, but that night in Max's office, when I found out the truth, it changed. Suddenly, I felt cut off from you two, from everyone. There was no reason to suppress it anymore. I hate you or I want to try to forgive you, Keith. Um, do I want to forgive him? I really don't. Also, I'd just like to point out that he would be in extreme pain at this point because it looks kind of like a ghoul and he would be more screaming than talking calmly. It's very strange how calm he sounds. It sounds as like it sounds as if this is just another day for him. Only he seems to be missing like half of his skin. Hmm. No, I I don't want to forgive him. No, after all the things he's done. No, I hate you. I hate you. You're not the same anymore. You have to understand that this is something I can't control, Cordelia. I must kill. Okay. He is a monster. But if I keep going down that road, he's not going to like me. Which could be very bad. Fine. I'll play along. I understand. The need to kill. Because I want to kill him. I understand. The need to kill. It, it stirred in me when I killed Max. Killing doesn't make us monsters. It just makes us human. And because I'm human... I still love you, Cordelia. I always did. <laughs> he loves me after he forced me to kill my brother. Yeah. Fine, I'll keep playing along. People like us, we can still love. People like us, we can still love. Yes. And even though I never felt anything for Max like I have for you, I just couldn't control the need to kill him. To understand what made him tick. I'm sure Max is grateful for what we did together. Yeah. I'm sure Max is grateful for what we did. Together. Do you think he understood why we did it? Do you still prefer him over me? No, no. Keith, I always preferred you. You'll never be half the man he would no, 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 no. Keith, I always preferred you. Fuck you, Keith. Keith, I always preferred you. Come here, Keith. Just... Just walk towards me, okay? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Come here, Keith. Cordy. Yeah, fuck you. What are you waiting for? You did it to Max. You can do it again. Pull the trigger. Because if you don't stop me now, I'll kill again. You can't, can you? So much for the drugs. The pain of her past is not over yet. But pain has made her strong, and the past must be uncovered if the future is to become clear. Erica? Cordelia, I've been... I've been looking for you. You found me now. But this is not... This is not how it's supposed to be. Get me the fuck out of here! Rose about Bao Tan. He will point the way. 
The choices are hers. The path is before her. And it will bring us either justice or condemnation. I have no clue what just happened, but okay, here we go. Erica, Erica, my dear, are you okay? Did you find what you were looking for? I saw Cordelia. Everything's gone to shit, Rose. I feel like I should hate Cordelia after all she's done, but I don't. But Sully, Davies, oh God, John. Is it so wrong if I say that some part of me understands her? Erica, scions have an affinity for empathy. Whatever horrors Cordelia has committed, you cannot help but connect to her human side. The woman she was before, the woman she could have been. Who is Baltan, Rose? Did you say Baltan? Oh dear, I haven't heard that name in so very long. Cordelia mentioned it in my vision. I'm not sure I want to talk about this. Please, Rose. I don't know if I can trust her, but this must be important. I have to find her. I have to stop her and her brother. Rose? Sometimes I can remember the particular smell of the jungle. It was musty and salty, and yet I liked it. It was summer of 72 in Vietnam. I had come with the Catholic relief, posted in a remote village, Helping those affected by the war. You were in Vietnam? A nun? Why doesn't that surprise me? No, not a nun. A volunteer. It was a hot morning. Vietnamese soldiers patrolled the area just as they would regularly. I was taking a few hours off, sitting in the plaza outside the village temple. I was watching the kids play ball and looking at a figurine a priest from the temple had given to me all while trying to do some reading. It was so hot that I couldn't concentrate on my book. And that's when I noticed him. Bartin? Yes, there was a wretched man standing under the shadow of a tree, walking back and forth, mumbling nonsense under his breath. In those days, it was not an uncommon thing. War drives people mad. And so I thought he was just another miserable soul still looking for a lost wife or child. Those were desperate days. Sad days, my dear. What happened then? Out of nowhere, the man started screaming like a madman, scaring the children. He would run from one child to the next, raving about fires in the sky. Of course, it was not long before the soldiers took him away and threw him in a cell. People were already scared enough. They didn't need a madman to start stirring nonsense. Was it nonsense? I saw the man's eyes as he was being carried away. They made me very uneasy. But they took him away, and the plaza went back to normal. Hours passed. I got lost in my reading, and then a bright light came, and there was a noise, a big broom. The impact threw me against the wall of the church. I awoke under rubble and dust and blood. There was the body of a dead child next to me. She was holding a doll in her hands. And I remember the man's word, fire in the skies. What happened to him? Bao Tan was branded a spy, a Viet Cong. No one could have known what happened unless they were privy to that information. In the following nights, I became haunted by visions of him. And I could not stop seeing his eyes, those tortured eyes. I requested they let me see him. It was not easy, but they allowed me to serve as a spiritual counsel to him. They were going to execute him. 
Yes, but not before they tortured him in order to extract information. The day I came to his cell, he would not meet my eyes. He lowered his eyes like a scared puppy. It took me days to reach him, but eventually I did. What did he tell you, Rose? He told me that he would feel things, and that this time he had seen the fire in the sky. I went to see him day after day, trying to grant some measure of peace to a hopeless man. I believe I did some good for him, that I was a friend to him when the whole world had abandoned him. When they executed him, he told me something. It's a shame to say that the exact words escaped me. I remember his eyes, his soul, and to this day I live by our moments together. Damn. So why does Cordelia want me to know that story? She said it's kind of up to me now, right? What's gonna happen will either be, what, what did she say, like justice or something else? Revenge? I don't know. So, something else. So this can go down multiple pathways depending on how I behave. Depending on what I do with this information. Why did she want me to know that? Alright, so he was a, a Bauton was a, a, a Scion. But he was branded a spy. Why does she want me to know that? Alright, but what, was, what were his words? She didn't tell me. Oh, can I actually go back and... Go to the exact moment? Rose. I don't understand what Cordelia wanted me to learn by this, but I need to try. Would you give me permission to look into your memories? Oh, my dear. I won't push you if you don't want me to, but I need to know this, Rose. I might be able to make you remember exactly what he told you. Wouldn't you want to remember that? Sometimes, yes. But there are some memories better left alone. I will let you, but if I say stop, please stop. I promise. Okay, okay, so we're gonna do one of these again. Um, you have acted your, activated your power of uh, regression. To view the desired memory, you must rearrange parts of the memory to match what actually happened in the past. Once all memories are matched, click on the blue cognition sphere to view the memory. If the selection is incorrect, then the screen will flash red. A temple? I wonder what religion it belongs to. Alright. Um, even after <laughs> reading that tutorial, I still don't exactly remember how this works. A temple. I wonder what religion it belongs to. That's weird. Click on that one gives me a description, but it doesn't get me to this. So how do I put these in order? I'm guessing I just select it through here? No. I seriously don't know how this works, even after reading the description, uh, the tutorial. How? Rearrange every possible changeable memory to match what really happened. Mm-hmm. But how, I, how do I rearrange them? All right, let's just start clicking on it and see what happens. Wait, what? The Tau of Physics. I don't know what that means. It was given to Rose by the temple priest. Hmm. Rose was reading a book, but which? All right, so a lot of possibilities. S 
so... I, I really don't know exactly how this is supposed to work. I'm very confused. I mean, I know this, I need to get this right, obviously, but what about these? The fact that I've clicked on the edges and now it does that... Um... What if I press this? Does it reset the whole thing? No. Hmm. Alright, how do I figure out what she was reading? A temple. I wonder what religion it belongs to. Okay, so I can just ask her, uh, what was she reading? What book were you reading, Rose? Oh, my dear. I don't remember. Ah. What temple was that? It's a Cao Dai temple. There are a few of those in Vietnam. Okay. Well, let's just go on down the line. What could have happened to him? The children were scared. They were playing with that ball. I wonder what village this is. Good question. What is the village, Rose? The kids were playing with a ball. Yes, I found that ball later and kept it. What village was this? The outskirts of Tran Bang and South Vietnam. Okay, I don't know if I need to like write this down or what, because again, I don't exactly know how this works. In what way am I rearranging the order of things? It doesn't seem like I am. The kids were playing with... Mm -hmm. What vi The outskirts of... Rose doesn't remember this. I need to find out what this flag really looks like. Okay, I'm guessing I need to use my phone to figure out some of these things, probably. Now that I know the village, maybe I can figure out what the flag would be? They thought he was crazy. Can I use my phone? Web search, I guess? Oh, yeah, here we go. Religious imagery. Okay, I do need to actually know the stuff. So that... Um... That... Yes. Okay. So, yellow, blue, red. Eye in the center. Oh, shit. Ah, there's information there. Hold on. Alright, that's the one. What did that say? Um, how did she pronounce that? Sao Dai or something like that? Chao... Uh, anyway, a monotheistic religion formed in Vietnam in 1926, combining beliefs from several major religions, such as Taoism and Buddhism. As a universal religion, Sao... I'm totally pr mispronouncing that, I know it. Holds, the, uh, holds that all religions originate from one belief system representing the Supreme Being, and that all beings should live in harmony, love, and peace with one another in order to reunite with God in their hearts. I mean, wait a minute, it looks like they're already arranged down here. Look at this. Yeah, she's reading, and then person started screaming, going crazy. Carried away, and then the fire in the sky, the explosion, and then she was a spiritual counselor to him and talked with him, and then he was killed. I mean, it looks like it's already arranged. I, I feel like I just need to get everything right, rather than actually arrange them in any way. Hmm. It was given to Rose by the temple priest. Alright, well, next 